Welcome to Effector from the Electronic Frontier Foundation. This is the audio edition of EFF's email newsletter geared towards keeping you on the bleeding edge of your digital rights. This is Effector Volume 36, Issue 6, titled Free Speech Around the World. This issue is published in May 2024, and I'm your host, membership advocate Christian Romero. Let's start with our top features. First up, EFF and human rights organizations call for urgent action in case of Allah Abdel Fattah. EFF has joined 26 free expression and human rights organizations calling for immediate action on Egypt's continued imprisonment of blogger and activist Ala Abdel Fattah, following an urgent appeal filed to the United Nations Working Group on Arbitrary Detention. Next up, speaking freely, Obioma Okonkwo. Check out our exclusive interview with Obioma Okonkwo, a lawyer and human rights advocate at Media Rights Agenda, a Nigeria-based NGO focused upon promoting and defending freedom of expression, press freedom, digital rights, and access to information within Nigeria and across Africa. And now, time to go through some EFF updates. First up, how to fix the internet podcast, antitrust slash pro-internet. Tim Wu, former antitrust advisor to the Biden administration, joins EFF Cinecon and Jason Kelly to discuss using the law to counterbalance the market's worst instincts in order to create an internet focused more on improving people's lives than on meaningless revenue generation. Next up, two years post-Roe, a better understanding of digital threats. Since 2022, some suspicions have been confirmed, new threats have emerged, and our overall risk assessment has grown smarter. Next up, Congress, don't let anyone own the law. We should all have the freedom to read, share, and comment on the laws we must live by. The forces behind the Pro Codes Act don't agree. Tell Congress to reject this bad bill. And for our last EFF update, how political campaigns use your data to target you. Data about potential voters, who they are, where they are, and how to reach them is an extremely valuable commodity during an election year. It's not possible to fully shield yourself from this data processing, but you can take steps to at least minimize and understand it. And now we've got a few announcements. Nominations are open for the 2024 EFF Awards. For more than 30 years, EFF has honored key leaders and organizations in the fight for freedom and innovation online. Past award winners have included visionary activist Aaron Schwartz, human rights and security researchers The Citizen Lab, cyberpunk author William Gibson, and whistleblower Chelsea Manning. Nominees must have made a specific, substantial contribution to help ensure that technology supports freedom, justice, and innovation for all people. The contribution may be technical, social, economic, or cultural. 2024 winners will be celebrated at a live event on Thursday, September 12th in San Francisco. The nomination deadline is Friday, May 31st, so send your nominations today. Next up, EFF's 8th Annual Tech Trivia Night. Join us for EFF's 8th Annual Tech Trivia Night, the ultimate technology quiz from 6 to 10 p.m. Thursday, May 9th at Public Works in San Francisco. Explore the obscure monotony of digital security, online rights, and internet culture while competing for the coveted first, second, and third place trophies and EFF swag. It's $55 per person, but only $45 for current EFF members. And with dinner and drinks included, it's sure to be a great night. Teams may have three to eight people, so bring your friends or make some new ones. Next up, EFF at Hope 15. EFF is excited to be at Hope from July 12th to 14th at St. John's University in New York City. Register now for in-person or virtual attendance. And last up, what does EFF mean to you? EFF is the leading nonprofit organization defending civil liberties in the digital world, championing user privacy, free expression, and innovation through impact litigation, policy analysis, grassroots activism, and technology development. Our mission is to ensure that technology supports freedom, justice, and innovation for all people of the world. But what does that mean to you? We'd love to know what you think of EFF. Why do you support us? How do you see our mission? And what issue are you most glad that we're addressing? Drop a line at testimonials at EFF.org and let us know. And finally, it's time to roll through some mini links. First up, from Nova slash PBS, Secrets in Your Data. Airing May 15th, whether you're on social media or surfing the web, you're probably sharing more personal data than you realize. EFF's Eva Galperin and Haley Sukeyama 
Join host Alok Patel to discuss all the data we're shedding and explore the latest efforts to maximize benefits without compromising personal privacy. Check your local PPS stations for listings. Next up from the Daily Beast, the coddling of the American parent. Blaming social media and smartphones for teenagers' problems gives a clear, simple, and wrong solution to what is ailing their children, argues Mike Masnick. Masnick is an EFF award winner and founder and editor at the popular Tech Dirt blog, as well as founder of the Silicon Valley think tank, the Copia Institute. Next up from the News and Observer, how a tech company is expanding surveillance in public streets. In the span of a few years, more and more privately owned automated cameras have emerged along street corners and straightaways across the nation, scooping up your data on every vehicle they see. The millions of cars they surveil don't have to be linked to any crimes, and the data they collect can be searched for weeks by any police officer with access, whether they're in the next town over or on the other side of the country. No warrant necessary. Next up from Reuters, U.S. TikTok bill sets up fight over free speech protections. The U.S. government set up a likely court showdown over the scope of TikTok's free speech protections under the U.S. Constitution after President Joe Biden signed legislation to ban the social media platform from app stores unless its Chinese owner sells it. And for our last mini-link, the next U.S. president will have troubling new surveillance powers. The ability of the United States to intercept and store Americans' text messages, calls, and emails in pursuit of foreign intelligence was not only extended but enhanced over the weekend in ways likely to remain enigmatic to the public for years to come. And that's a wrap. Thanks for listening. If you like what you're hearing or would like to learn more, subscribe at EFF.org slash Effector. Did you know EFF is a member-supported nonprofit organization? You can help us protect digital freedoms online by donating at EFF.org slash Effect and even grab some of our latest member gear. Thanks for your support, and I hope you'll join us for the next issue of Effector.